Yes, I know through this channel, most of you have been thinking or have already decided to do some sort of agricultural project, either being cattle farming, poultry farming, goat farming, sheep farming, or even cat farming. But one of the questions that most of you keep on asking me and you're probably asking yourself is how much money do I need to start this project, either in any of the African countries, either in Nigeria, Ghana, Zimbabwe, Tanzania, Rwanda, Kenya. Today, we're going to talk about that in this video. But before we go into today's topic, I want to say a big thank you to all of you that have been part of this family since the beginning and subscribing to this channel. But if you haven't had the opportunity to do so, and today is your second time, third time watching any video, guys, it doesn't cost you anything to click on the subscription button. It does go a long way for me and my team as well. And that sort of encouragement is highly needed. So please go ahead and smash that subscription button. Click on the notification bell that is going to come on your right hand side so that anytime we release any video, you guys will be notified and you'll be able to watch it. And again, if you want to spend some time talking to me directly, please click on the description button. There is a link there. Click on either the first one or second one. A page will open. Go in, choose the date that you're free and book some time and talk to me. I'm available um, based on the calendar date. Schedule some time with me and let's talk about anything that you want to talk about agriculture, business or investing in Africa. So let's jump right into today's topic. So the question of the day is how much do I need to start any project that I want to start in, in Ghana, in Nigeria or in any of the African countries? And the truth and my honest answer to you that resources are always going to be scarce and you're never going to be able to have the entire money that you need to start your project. But this is my recommendation for you. The fact that you are watching this video means that you have taken recommendation number one, which is basically doing your research and understanding the details of the project that you want to do. If you're thinking about going into poultry farming, think about the capacity that you would like to do. Maybe you don't want to be a full-time farmer. Therefore, how many capacity will you be able to handle? Think about people that you have within your connection that can assist you. Learn more about the feeding. Learn more about the characteristics. Learn more about the breeds. So doing your first research is my recommendation number one to you. Sometimes this research might actually change your mind from a specific project that you want to do to another. For example, let's say in the beginning you thought about making or starting a cattle farm. But after doing some more research and watching videos like this, that and so on, you realize that, ah, maybe cattle farming is not for me. Or maybe my land or whatever skills that I have is not in cattle farming. Through this research, you might change your mind and do good farming because they are easy to feed and so on. So definitely do your research and through your research, once you, you decide on what you want to do, then we can move on. Now that we've decided on what projects or what sort of farming do we want to invest into, my biggest recommendation number two is to set target for yourself. Because as I said in the beginning, you're never going to have all the resources to be able to execute. But sometimes we tend to lay on excuses and the fact that we don't have much money. I get a lot of message from, you know, teachers, nurses, um, even bank managers saying, Fred, I want to start this farm. I want to start this, but my salary is very small. And that excuse have kept people's ideas in their head and taking them to the grave. Today, we don't want your ideas to be stuck in your head and to be taken to the grave. So let's bring them out. So my recommendation number two to you is to set target for yourself. Yeah, Fred, what do you mean by set target? To me, I feel like through your research, you're going to identify. So for example, let's take poultry farming. If poultry farming is what you want to go into and you've done your research and have agreed that there is market for poultry farming in my community, again, there is the demand as well, right? And I can be the supplier. Therefore, I want to do poultry farm. 
Don't forget about the money because it's very important. Nobody goes into business to fail. So always start by looking for demand and supply in your community before you go into it. Let's say we've done all those research. If you need to talk to me more about that, let me know. But let's put that aside. That has been done. What is the target we want to set for ourselves? Since we are never going to have all the money in the world to be able to invest and build a whole pottery pen by, you know, in, in, in two or three days, what we need to do is to set a target and say that, what do we want to achieve by the end of this year, at the end of this month, at the end of this six months, at the end of this first quarter or second quarter or third quarter of the year? And that is solely up to you, depending on your resources. Again, depending on the time that you have. You might be living in Germany, in Italy, or in the U.S., and this is something that you want to do. When do you have a leave time to be able to go into the country, right, and really see it take off? When do you have time to be able to fly back home and to be able to really clear your land before everything is even started? So setting a target like this is really going to help you plan and avoid the excuses of not having money or not having time. Sometimes it doesn't have to take you one month to complete. My project took me about three years. You all saw the research I have to do flying even to the U.S., flying to Kenya just to get my hands on feed because I know that without feeding, I wasn't going to be able to scale. So that's how I discovered the brachyria grass and so on and so forth. And if you're watching this video, then I know that is what you're doing as well. So let's set a target. In the next three months, what do I want to achieve? My target number one is probably buy two acres of land because I want to start a poultry farm. My target number two will be after the two acres of land, let me actually get an estimate of how much it's going to take me, one, to clear the land, two, to build my pen. Once I have those estimates, then I can use that estimate to also set another financial target for myself. Financial target number one could be, I'm going to save 30% of my salary. I'm going to save 20% of my salary. And after three times consecutive savings, I will be able to achieve my target of clearing the land. Maybe after six months of saving, I will be able to achieve my target of building the chicken pen. There are so many young guys out there that I know are pushing to go into different projects. But your worry is the money. Nobody has the money. Nobody. I know when I was starting my pig farm, I was able to put some money aside. But that money didn't come from the sky. It is money that I've worked for over the years. Right. And I was able to take that money, $10,000 and say, I'm going to put it into pig farm. If you don't have that money, what you need to do is to start doing today what I've been doing for the past three, four years, which is saving towards this kind of investments that I wanted to do. Because I always knew that I wanted to create multiple streams of income. So any money that I get, I was saving it, looking for the right opportunities to invest into it. So today I'm telling you. If you, whatever you do, if you have 10 cities, if you have 100 cities, start saving today. Because in the next three years, four years, you will be the one sitting behind the camera and telling people to start saving and invest into what you're doing. So concluding on my second recommendation, setting targets. I think that is super clear, guys. If you have any questions or any comments, please write in the comments uh, below. I will definitely come and answer you. If you need to talk to me, book some time with me, or again, contact us on the WhatsApp line that is below. Let me know what you guys are thinking because I want you guys to get out there. We together can make it. I alone cannot make it. And that's why I'm sharing all these ideas, this information with you guys, so that no matter where you are on the African continent, you have something to invest your time in. Recommendation number three is skill set. Finding the right person with a skill set. Either you are going to manage your farm yourself and therefore needs to learn. Let's learn, guys. Ever since I started farming, I've seen a lot of people around me also starting. The people that are actually closer to me are rather either shy, scared, I don't know what to call it, to actually come to me for information. Don't be that person. Learn from people. I mean, you're doing this. You're, you're, you're watching YouTube. That means you're learning. But get closer to the people behind you, people closer to you. 
that you can learn from and acquire the skills because you don't want to invest your savings for years, for months into something that is going to fail. So if you're going to have somebody who is going to manage your farm, make sure that person acquire the skills, especially if you're doing something delegate as poultry farm, where within the next 24 hours, you can lose as many birds as possible. Then it is important that we invest into the skill set and knowledge that we need to be able to actually do that. So resources are always going to be limited again. But what I want to assure you guys is there is always a starting point. Doing a farm project is not different from any other thing. They all take time, they all take planning, and they all take gradual steps. Let's take the step one at a time. And together, I believe with our research, with our target setting, and with our investment into skills and people, we'll be able to achieve whatever project that we set our eyes on. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope this is helpful. Once again, I will see you tomorrow with a new video.